Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. And thanks everyone for all your Merry Christmases. Well, you get a Merry Christmas from the shop. Hey, and remember, I want to tell you guys a secret. Okay? When all them in laws are over, you gotta be nice. And when the gossip starts flowing, just tell them that. Ain't no drama in the shop. <laughs> No, man, this is all for good times. But anyway, <clears throat> if we got to get 52 more videos out before the New Year's, we got to get busy. So you just tell that family you're going to be busy for a while. You got some videos to watch. <laughs> cut down all this foam now. What I'm doing is I'm cutting, uh, laid this out. I just kind of got this taped together and tackled it in a few places. I put my flat down. You're actually in my flat parts. Hey, once associated this morning. And uh, took that in the show mark. I had to go get some wax. Oh, I got some tacky tape. Some more of this foam. This foam's the bomb, man. Uh, but I showed Mark my piece. And he was impressed. He said that's some of the better glass and work he's seen. Look at that, there is just, there is no voids, nowhere, the seams are awesome, I just got to sand that a little bit, even on the back, the sign, took that in the show mark, he was impressed, he said where this stuck, well it kind of got stuck, he said probably what that was is uh, my uh, mold release, my uh, part all, was probably still wet in this spot when I shot my primer over it. And it was cold that night. And uh, he might have been right. Because I kind of stuck there. It stuck there and in this lip here. And I can see where that was a little bit thick in that lip. But right there also. Well, it ain't no big deal. That'll sand right out of that part. but. That kind of gives us a little clue why it's stuck. And uh, popped right out though, nothing hurt. I'm going to polish that mold before I use it again though. And uh, wax her up real good. Stopped in Harbor Freight. And uh, you know I got that little air polisher. Well it really don't turn very many RPM. So uh... I got one of these that I could hook up on my die grinder. That gets a lot more RPM and, and some of these buffing uh, compound rouges. Uh, that's the rough and this is the fine. Uh, that'll buff them mold dry. I got, kinda, I got another wheel too. You check this out. Huh. An adapter for my cordless drill so I can put a socket on the uh, my drill and my cordless drill and take them long old bolts off the bolts. Huh, that was like three bucks. All this together was twelve bucks. What a bargain in a angled buffing wheel. I'll hook up to my die grinder, a lot more RPM. Just hit it, bam, it'll be shining. So I'm gonna buff them bolts before I use them again. Use that uh, I'm gonna try this though. I've seen a lot of people use this, man, and it works really good. I'm going to try that in on McGuire, whatever, make it shine a little better. But that was my trip. Out, got another job of this honey wax. Love this honey wax, man. So to say, the industries. Check this out, too. Over there, i got to put a wet counter on. That's it. When they were asking about some of that matting, and he had a big old roll there. That's it right there. I got it kind of tucked away. I don't really want to get it out, but uh, it looks like they had it rolled out once. Cause they rolled it out for something, and I rolled it back up. They gave that to me. Freebie, freebie. All right. <laughs> Can't beat the freebies. Best when you're on the budget. There's the man. Can I put some stuff on your account? 
On account of I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what I gotta do is just cut out this stuff. I also like to cut this out. I could come to check the bond I got from my fiberglass. I'm not cutting real hard. I tell you what, to cut through that carbon. You would have to press as hard as you could and take it across there 20, 25 times and still not be through it. That carbon is some hard stuff. I was also looking through some more of Mark's stuff down there with what they had it associated. You know, and every time I go walking through that place, I find more stuff. They got all kinds of vacuum bagging equipment. They have everything you need. They have that tube. You know that tube that I used yesterday to vacuum bag these small parts in all different sizes. They have everything there, man. Just so you can tell how good that foam is stuck. Man, it's just stuck good. No, my, my, uh, my mother was full-blooded German, <coughs> and we used to go over there when I was little. Man, I tell you what, them Germans like to party, man. <laughs> it was always a big party at my grandma's house. drink was on Friday nights and man would he get hammered we used to go there all the time when I was kids and uh, he'd get drunk seeing God bless America and German <laughs> my dad my uncles you know they'd go over there and grandpa wanted to drink with him but grandpa grandpa kept his beer on the back porch man <laughs> you went over to grandpa's house 
You drink hot slick.